Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel, and to day 6 slash 7 of Inktober now, <laughs> since we are taking two days to essentially put out a video, but it's kind of how it's been working the best with my work schedule, so can't complain there. I, so, <laughs> this particular piece comes with no prompt, um, no pre like looking at any kind of prompts for this one I just kind of had an idea come to my mind um based off of the outfit that I wanted to put her in and the outfit I wanted to put her in was kind of like a Merida style dress but shorter and a little bit more of like a swing skirt kind of ordeal and um from there I decided that I would make her more of like a Merida kind of looking witch so it was fun and <laughs> fantastic and I did uh, lots of curly hair or at least like super wavy hair which I loved the thing that was fun with this one too is that I really like creating the body first and getting that kind of base shape down and then building the clothing layer on top of it so that it kind of lays properly and it really just made the flow of it go better than I expected. And I really like the way that these ink tours are turning out. It's been a lot of fun trying different things and just finding more of the style that I've been wanting to find, which is kind of more on that cartoony side. I love getting more realistic in a way, but I also love having that like super cartoony vibe to this. And... It also is one of those where I continued trying where I did the fine liner and everything first and then went through and laid down the India ink with the brush and I'm honestly loving the way that it is turning out. I'm still getting better at kind of like refining the way that I do it so that the lines come out the way that I want um, because there's times where I ink a little far to the right or to the left and it distorts from the image that I had originally created just ever so slightly enough to annoy me <laughs> so to speak um, and at the same time though I love the the bold lines and kind of just creating that heavy imagery and overall aesthetic to it that has been really nice. It's been a, a fun flow and this one I definitely added a lot more color which was also a lot of fun. Um, I didn't do like full color or anything but I, I used two different colors. I used a really nice like orange tone and then I used that crimson red mixed with a bit of black to give her some beautiful red hair and I kind of love hate the highlights that I did in the hair at the end and you may agree with me but all the same I am still happy with the overall imagery of this one I love how the top turned out <laughs> the poofy sleeves at the um, cuts in the fabric really turned out better than I expected and I love the look that it kind of gave and it gave the look that I was going for which like I said was mirroring the like Merida style dress um, obviously just in black and white and doing the same kind of cuts and then creating more of a, a swing dress style to it and honestly it's I, I want to make this dress I'm <laughs> so here's something that I have heavily been thinking about and if you're reaching this part um welcome <laughs> but tell me what you all think I have honestly been considering doing some sewing on my channel uh getting a sewing machine and I had one a very very long time ago when I was a kid and I haven't really sewn in years outside of like terrible hand stitching when I'm fixing 
like pajamas with holes or certain things like that but I'm thinking about getting a sewing machine and starting to kind of create my own clothing and or maybe even cosplay style clothing um which would mean that I would be a bit more on camera so it's something I'm considering but tell me all what you would think like would you be down for not only my art pinup drawing exclusivity but also adding in some sewing and sewing process because I want to make there's so many things that I've been thinking about recently that I'm like oh that'd be cool to make and like sharing it with you guys because sharing the creative crafty stuff with you guys has always been a lot of fun for me and it's like I've said in every video like I've been really appreciating all you guys um, leaving comments and replying to questions that I have for you guys and other things so it's just been fun watching this kind of little community build and expand especially even during Inktober which is a fun month for me in general for getting creative but yeah um tell me what you think I hope that you enjoyed this video I think she came out really cute as always I appreciate all of you thank you so much for watching take it easy and I'll see y'all in the next one